Welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Want to fix dull colors and flat contrast in seconds? I'll show you how the Pro Contrast Filter in Nick Collection 8 can transform your images. And stick around because I'm giving away the entire DxO software suite, including Nick Collection 8. Hello and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. The Pro Contrast Filter is one of my favorite tools for quickly improving an image's color and depth. It's designed to fix common problems like unwanted color casts, flat contrast, and lifeless details, all with just three simple sliders. Now, the image is open in Photoshop, and I launched Nick Collection 8 Color Effects right from the Color Effects panel. You can also run Color Effects as a standalone application, but today, will work directly in Photoshop. By the way, if you use my affiliate links, I earn a small commission, which helps keep me making videos like this, and it doesn't cost you a thing. Let's head straight into the Pro Contrast filter. We're looking at our first example, a fall tree with a bright blue sky behind it. The Pro Contrast filter has three sliders, and each one targets a different problem or enhancement. Correct color cast. In this shot, the colors are already pretty true, so I won't need much adjustment, but if the sky looked too cyan or the leaves had a strange tint, this slider would quickly neutralize that without making the image look flat. Color contrast. Now, this is where the image really starts to open up. Watch as I bring this up. The tree's leaves gain definition, the shadows and the branches lift just enough and the blue sky deepens slightly without blowing out the highlights. Now let's look at dynamic contrast. This is the texture enhancer. Notice how the fine details in the leaves become more defined and the bark on the branches gains a subtle crispness. I'll stop before it gets too strong so it stays natural. This step-by-step -step approach works the same on any image, but here it's making the fall color pop without pushing the blues or yellows too far. Let's see a quick before and after. Here's before and here is after. Note, compared to a standard contrast adjustment, Pro Contrast increases saturation more subtly. A normal contrast change boosts saturation strongly because it pushes all color channels apart equally. Pro Contrast is more controlled. It adjusts tones in a targeted way, so you get a natural look with only a mild saturation bump. In simple terms, when I say color channels, I mean the separate red, green, and blue channels that each store how much of that specific color is present in every pixel of your image. Standard contrast boosts affect all three equally, which is why saturation often jumps. To show you what I mean, here's a normal contrast adjustment using the Vivesa Global Filter. Let's see a quick before and after. Notice how the contrast boost here also pushes saturation more compared to Pro Contrast. Now, switching back to Pro Contrast, you'll see the tonal depth improve, but the saturation stays more controlled. For our second example, here's a fall scene that looks dull and has a strong bluish color cast. This time, the correct color cast slider is doing most of the heavy lifting. It warms the scene and removes that blue haze from the trees and ground. Now I'll bring up correct contrast to add depth and separate the tones. Finally, a touch of dynamic contrast will bring out the textures in the grass and the fence posts in the foreground, as well as detail in the distant trees. In just a few quick moves, the scene goes from lifeless to vibrant. Now about the giveaway to celebrate National Photography Day on August 19th. I'm giving away the full DxO software suite. That's DxO Photo Lab, the entire Nick collection, and more. To enter, just leave a comment below telling me how you would use DxO Photo Lab 8 or Nick Collection 8 in your own photo editing projects. One entry per viewer multiple entries will be disqualified. I'll be doing a random drawing next Wednesday and we'll announce the winner on next Wednesday's show. I can't wait to read your comments and see how you plan to use the software. And just so you know, DxO provided me with the software for this giveaway, but they're not paying me to make this video. Good luck, everyone.
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to The Joy of Editing with Dave Cully for more tutorials and giveaways. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.